Now, when it comes to Italian motorcycles, many of you, like me, will have preconceived expectations because over the course of time, we have been led to believe or we have witnessed rather that these motorcycles that emanate from that particular part of the world not only are striking in terms of design but when it actually gets down to getting out on the road well these bikes are ultimately engaging and really kick ass now when Moto Morini came into the country with Adishwar Auto Ride India a couple of months ago we did uh, sample the Xcape 650 the, the full blown adventure bike a uh, real hoot of a ride with that one but now we are out here today with the Simezo 6.5. Now, how Italian is this bike? Well, first of all and foremost, because uh, it was a bit sketchy for, at first, because although Moto Morini is an Italian brand, it is owned by a Chinese company and most of the parts are built in China. So how much Italian DNA does the Simezo 6.5 have in its kitty? Well, we are here to find out. So let's get to it. On the looks front, we all know that Italian motorcycles generally do anything but blend in with the crowd. But with the Simezo 6.5, at least this retro street avatar, its design might not be overly outstanding, but it looks very neat overall. The round headlight with the LED halo, while not being very unique, does look attractive. And the bike does have a bold, solid look about it with the sturdy 43mm KYB upside down fork, the big muscular 15.5 litre tank, the tidy midsection with the exposed steel frame and the slightly contoured seat. Then you have Brembo disc brakes and chunky Pirelli Angel GT tyres at both ends, the 18-inch front and the 17-inch rear. And while the taillight is located under the seat, the indicators at the back, like the number plate, are integrated with the tyre hugger quite neatly. Now the Simezo 6.5 features 5-inch TFT display that's very easy to read on the go. And the best part about this screen is the way the numbers light up on the taco the higher you climb up the band, which looks really cool. There are no ride modes or riding aids with this bike, apart from the ABS, dual channel of course, which can't be switched off. You can connect your phone to the bike to receive call alerts and toggle through music. Overall, the bike looks smart, but rather simple and unsophisticated. It's not exactly overflowing with Italian oomph and flair as you would have it, but it does pack some serious hardware. Now, Moto Morini have another version of the Simezo 6.5, the Scrambler, out in the market as well. And in comparison, that bike gets a raised handlebar, a beak mudguard up front, spoke wheels dressed in Pirelli dual sport tyres, different side panels, mirrors, a rib seat, and tank ribs. In my opinion, this version of the bike looks a little more the part of an Italian motorcycle, but some of you will argue that looks are subjective. In terms of performance, well, the 649cc parallel twin doesn't make as much power as the competition in the form of the Kawasaki Z650, but it doesn't feel anything close to being sluggish. The engine is the same 649cc liquid-cooled parallel twill unit from the Xcape 650 Adventure motorcycle. But power output is down by 5 PS. So here, the motor makes a max of 55 PS of power and peak torque is around 54 Nm. The 8 valve DOHC unit is very refined in its method of functioning. Throttle response is smooth and you won't be caught off guard with any spiky surge of power during closed and open throttle transition. It's all good if you're new to the displacement category of motorcycle, but it won't exactly blow your way with its level of performance either. The Simezo can cruise at around 100 kmph at 4500 rpm in 6th without a worry in the world. And there's a lot more power on tap should you feel fit to throw it all down thanks to a strong mid-range. The motor can be quite tractable at low speed as well, but the biggest downside of this engine has to be the way heat is dispersed from it. The bike appears to send all that heat right up to your crotch just 5 minutes into riding it about. And if you encounter heavy traffic thereafter, my god, may he help you because in all certainty, this bike definitely won't. But then again, if you come to think of it, aren't most Italian bikes like this? They all seem built for European climates and are affected drastically while taking on conditions out here. Anyway, moving on to the bike's ride and handling. In terms of ride quality, the Simezo does strike a good balance between sport and comfort. 
The riding triangle is a comfortable one and the suspension, although it doesn't kill off bumps completely at slow speed, does remove the sharpness from them. At higher speeds, this bike is very comfortable and predictable in its manner of functioning as well. But the quicker you go, the more comfy you and your pillion are going to feel on this bike. The front end does tend to dive down a fair bit under hard braking, but the best part is the front fork is adjustable, which allows you to change that around. In fact, the Simezo gets quite a good amount of familiar hardware in the form of KYB suspension at both ends, Brembo disc brakes at both ends as well, dual channel ABS from Bosch and Pirelli tyres. And all these components come together really well on this Moto Morini. In terms of handling, the Simezo steel chassis does grant it a certain amount of agility out on the road. But then again, it does weigh 215 kg, which isn't exactly what you would call lightweight. And you can feel the weight of this bike when you slow down and tip it into a corner. Mostly at high speed, not so much so at low speed. At first, I didn't think it was able to change direction as quickly as something like the Z650. But after a quick check of both bike spec sheets, I learned that the Moto Morini is in fact the heavier of the two by some margin, in addition to it being longer, broader and taller than the Kawasaki. But that's not to say that the Moto Morini isn't capable of what this other bike can do, just that it will require a little more effort to do so. Once you get used to it, you will definitely have a good amount of fun on this bike. And even the ride posture, well, the ergonomics, well, it is quite comfy on the go. Although I would have, I would rather suggest that you go in for uh, the scrambler version, which has a slightly raised bar, which will be a lot more comfortable uh, in the long run. Now, exactly how Italian, how much Italian DNA does the Simezo 6.5 have in its kitty? Well, in the true aspect of the sense, it does exude a lot of qualities that you would assume from an Italian brand and a motorcycle of this caliber. Well, it has a decent enough engine, a good ride and handling dynamics, and yes, it looks pretty nice as well. But I think the only crux of the matter is when, if you were to select this bike over the competition, the, the Z650 uh, from Kawasaki and the Trident 660, the, uh, the Triumph, well, the only thing that you should look out for is something like the sales and service network, because although uh, the Simezo Moto Marini is operating out of uh, the Moto Vault Arena, uh, we are told that there are just nine showrooms of Moto Vault Arena around the country. But the good thing is, they are tied up with Benelli and Kiwi. So they will have, uh, if you own a Moto Morini motorcycle and you have a dealership, a Kiwi or a Benelli dealership around the place uh, nearby, well, you can get your bike serviced from those outlets. But that is something that you will definitely want to factor in before you buy a machine like this.